What's up, everybody? KG here, founder of the InternetMoney.io crypto wallet, coming at you today with a quick and easy tutorial to show you how to use our in-app swap feature on Android, iOS, and Chrome to do safe, fast, profitable swapping on Pulse Chain, Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, and Polygon. Let's jump right into it. Got my own keys and my own coin. Gotta protect this money. Took too long for me to get it. Can't let them take this from me. Here we are on the internetmoney.io Chrome extension. Now, keep in mind, this tutorial is exactly the same for Android, iOS, as well as Chrome. All of the platforms have the exact same process and flow. So if you're watching this for Chrome, it's completely okay. It'll work with your Android and iOS device as well. When you first load up your internet money wallet, you will see that you are natively connected to Pulse Chain. If you'd like to change your network, simply click on the network tab and you'll see a list of the networks that we preload in the internet money wallet. If there is a swap badge next to the network, that means we support the in-app swap feature for that network. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will be using Pulse Chain. Now let's take a look at how to actually do the swap within the wallet. There are two ways you can accomplish this. You can either click on the swap tab here, which will take you straight into the swapping interface. But before you do that, you need to make sure that the tokens are loaded into your account. I only have one account, but it'll list all of your accounts here. So I'll click into my one account here. And you can also see the second way is to click the swap button right from within the account. To add a token, all you have to do is click on add token and you will see a list of all the tokens that we preload into the wallet. If you don't see your token here, you simply click import token and paste the contract address here and click import token. For the purposes of this video, the token I'm going to use for an example is I'm going to use time and hex. We're gonna do a couple swaps so that you can see what the interface looks like. Now you can see that I have time, hex, and PLS loaded into my wallet. PLS is the only token that I am actually holding right now. This is the native coin for Pulse Chain. So now I want to do my first swap into the time token. So I'm going to click swap. You can see here, this is the account that I'm swapping with. So if I had multiple accounts, I could click down on this arrow and my multiple accounts would populate here. On this side, you choose the asset to swap out of. In this case, I am swapping out of PLS and choose the asset to swap into. In this case, I am choosing time. Now you can execute your swap by typing in the amount of PLS or the US dollar value. So let's say I want to do a $10 swap. You will see the PLS value populates here and you can see your total amount of PLS coins here and the US dollar value right below them. So I'm gonna do $10 of PLS, which is 122,000 coins. And if you need to increase the slippage, you can do so here. Usually the 1% default that we use gets the job done. But if you're using a reflection token or a tax token or a token with a very thin liquidity pool, a lot of times you may have to increase this, but always try the swap with the default 1% first. And if it fails, try increasing the slippage. Click next. Now you're going to see the list of all available places to swap your tokens. We aggregate a lot of different liquidity sources within the internet money wallet, and we use a lot of custom routing logic to enhance the swap to give you as the user and the swapper the most tokens for your output. 
And this is important because, well, we all want to get the most highest yielding trades. So if that all went over your head, no need to think about all that. What you can see is that right here, the recommended option for this trade is Pateas. So you can see that whatever we put here for the recommended option is the option that's going to give you the most tokens for your trade. And you can verify that by looking right here. This is how much time I would receive if I went on Pateas. And you can see, even though it's just the hair higher than Pulse X V2, it's still higher and therefore gets the recommended option. So I'm going to click that. Now, once I'm on this page here, you can verify that all of the transaction details look good to you. And if they do, you can click to swap tokens. It'll say transaction submitted. You can click OK. And then you will just wait a moment. You can click the refresh button here to see if the trade has occurred. And it has. That's how fast it was. Only a few seconds. So we have successfully executed a trade within the internet money wallet on Pulse Chain. Now, let's go through it one more time, but this time let's use the other method of swapping on the home page. So if you were to go back, you can click swap. You will see that it's exactly the same interface. So you don't have to learn two different ways. That's just kind of a shortcut. So again, we're going to choose PLS on this side, and on this side, we're going to choose HEX. And now this time, instead of doing $10, let's do 125,000 PLS, and you will see that it is a US dollar value of $10.22. Click Next. And you can see that this time, the recommended option for this trade is PHUX or FUX. And you will see that when you're doing your trading in the internet money wallet, this recommended option is going to show you different liquidity sources because it's always looking for that best place to swap. So I'm going to click again. Again, verify that all the details look good to you. Click swap tokens, transaction submitted, and press OK. And now before we refresh here, if you'd like, you can click the arrow in the top left, go to the Transactions tab on the main wallet screen, click on your swap, and you will see that the transaction has confirmed. I can go back to my account, click Refresh, and there it is. I have received my hex. One additional note that I would like to point out in this video is if you're ever doing a swap and you go to your Transactions tab, and it shows that the transaction is pending and it has been pending for whatever time you deem too long. In order to fix that and resubmit your transaction, all you have to do is redo your transaction. And then when you get to the confirm transaction screen where it says estimated gas fee, simply click this down arrow here. You can click advanced options and you can increase these fees here. And by increasing them, you will increase your priority for your transaction to get processed and you will likely get confirmed that time. So it really is that simple to just resubmit your transaction. And the final thing to note is on this transaction screen, you're going to see something that says wallet fee. Now, one really cool thing about the Internet Money Wallet is that 100% of this fee is distributed to the holders of our token time. So by holding time, you earn passive income as the wallet grows in revenue. If you'd like to learn more about time, simply go to our website at internetmoney.io forward slash time. And that's it for this video. Another quick and easy tutorial brought to you by internetmoney.io. If you're out there looking for a secure, private crypto wallet that collects no data, Internet Money Wallet is the place to be. You can download us on Android, iOS, or Chrome. And as always, we have a 24-7, 365 active community in our Telegram chat. 
And all you have to do is go to internetmoney.io and click join our community. We're there for support, questions, and community. And until next time, I'm KG. Peace. Got my own keys and my own coins. Gotta protect this money. Took too long for me to get it. Can't let them take this.